As a non-EU national looking to apply for government jobs in Sweden, it's important to have a valid work permit and to consider factors such as where to find job openings and how to apply. You may also be eligible to settle in Sweden after graduation or with an employment offer from a Swedish employer. With numerous job opportunities across various government departments, Sweden also welcomes foreign skilled workers to apply. In today's video I'm going to give you a general outlook of where to find and look for Sweden government jobs, in-demand job listings, what is the official labor shortage list, how to apply for them and other details of landing a decent job in Sweden. Greetings and thank you for joining us for another video. If you're new here, we invite you to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you can be notified of our latest uploads. Thank you for your support. Sweden is considered one of the best places to live and work, with a welcoming environment for new residents and abundant opportunities for personal and professional development. As of April 2022, Sweden has introduced a new visa policy that offers potential immigrants the option to move to Sweden with or without a job lined up. Germany and Austria have been included as European countries that allow immigrants to enter Sweden without requiring a job offer. Where can I look for jobs in Sweden? Sweden offers a variety of job opportunities for job seekers, and conducting thorough research can help you find a job that interests you. If you are unsure where to start, Sweden's Public Employment Service can provide you with valuable support. For international candidates interested in working in Sweden, there is a helpful link available. Additionally, private sector job opportunities can be found on a website that has a large number of job listings in European and European Economic Area countries. There are private companies within the field of recruitment that you can find them on the description section of this video. There is also recruitment agencies with job listings we added below this video for you. Checking the Sweden labor shortage list is another easy, quick and efficient way to go for decent job prospects in Sweden. If your occupation is on this list, you have a higher chance of getting a faster decision on your application. Many companies publish their job ads on the Swedish Public Employment Agency's website, which is linked below, and a significant number of these ads are available in English. By reviewing these ads and following the instructions provided, you can apply for job opportunities that align with your interests and qualifications. In Sweden, there are various recruitment agencies and private companies that can help you find potential employers in your field of expertise. These agencies specialize in specific fields such as IT, construction, or medical. It's important to keep an eye on job listings on websites that cater to your profession and follow the instructions to apply for job positions. You can also find private recruitment companies listed in the description section of this video and below this video, you can find recruitment agencies with job listings. Another useful resource is the Sweden Labour Shortage List, which is published annually by the Swedish Migration Agency and other governmental offices. This list highlights occupations that are in high demand in Sweden. If your profession is on the list, you may have a better chance of a quicker decision on your application. The Swedish Migration Agency and other government bodies release an annual list of in-demand occupations in Sweden. If your occupation is on this list, your application for a work permit may be processed faster. Additionally, you can apply for a work permit while in Sweden instead of returning to your home country. Keep in mind that the list may only be available in Swedish, and if the link is not working, a new list may have been released. In this case, search for the updated list online. How to apply for Sweden government jobs. If you're interested in applying for government jobs in Sweden, it's essential to start by evaluating your professional skills on the official website of Swedish Public Employment Service. This will help you identify your strengths and target your job search more effectively. To increase your chances of landing a job, it's important to create a well-crafted CV that highlights your work experience, education, skills, and achievements. Keep your CV concise and limit it to one or two pages. Additionally, always include a cover letter that outlines why you are the right fit for the job. In your cover letter, don't just repeat what's already in your CV. Instead, make connections between the job requirements and your skills and experience. This is your opportunity to showcase why you are the best candidate for the position. Remember to proofread and edit your application materials before sending them out. With a little effort and attention to detail, you can increase your chances of landing a job in the Swedish government. Here are some high-demand government jobs in Sweden for 2023. 1. Teacher. Sweden will need a large number of certified teachers and preschool tutors to meet the anticipated demand by 2033. 
The average monthly salary for a teacher or educator in Sweden is around 47,900 Swedish kroner. 2. Civil engineer. The average monthly salary for a civil engineer in Sweden is around 40,700 Swedish kroner, with experience being a primary criterion for determining salaries. 3. Elderly nursing. With an increase in the number of elderly people in Sweden, there is a high demand for nurses. The average monthly salary for a nurse in Sweden is around 37,700 Swedish kroner. 4. System developer. The Swedish market is currently in need of programmers and DevOps experts, with an average monthly salary of around 45,400 Swedish kroner for a developer or programmer. 5. Sales representative. With a growing number of businesses operating in Sweden, there is a requirement for people in sales. The average monthly salary for a sales representative in Sweden is around 31,100 Swedish kroner. 6. Project manager. Project managers are responsible for project planning, execution, monitoring, control, and closing. The average monthly salary for a project manager in Sweden is around 51,700 Swedish kroner. 7. Customer service. More call centers are situated in Sweden than in any other Scandinavian nation, and the call center market is increasing at a level of 15 to 20 percent. Customer service representatives make an average of about 26,548 Swedish kroner monthly I pay. 8. Administrator. The need for skilled administrators is rising, and the average monthly salary for an employee in the administrative, receptionist, or secretarial field is around 26,800 Swedish kroner. 9. Chef. There is an opportunity for experienced or ambitious chefs who want to start a new life in Sweden. The average monthly salary for a chef in Sweden is around 27,900 Swedish kroner. 10. Personal assistant. The average monthly salary for a personal assistant in Sweden is around 23,600 Swedish kroner, with an entry-level executive assistant with one to four years of experience being able to earn an average of 400,000 Swedish kroner in tips, bonuses, and paid leave. Other opportunities in Sweden's government sector include roles such. Each role has its unique requirements and companies, so be sure to research each opportunity before applying. Once you've completed your job interview, the employer will contact you if they've decided to offer you the position. If you're selected, the next steps will depend on the procedures of the embassy or organization that you'll be working for. Upon receiving an offer letter, you'll need to follow the specific instructions provided to proceed with the necessary paperwork and other requirements. To obtain a work permit for Sweden, it is mandatory to submit an application and receive approval prior to your arrival. The application process can be completed online, with detailed instructions provided on how to fill out the form and what supporting documents need to be included. That's all for today's video. We appreciate your loyalty as a subscriber to the Vice of Immigration channel. Your support, likes, and time mean lot to us. Stay tuned for our upcoming videos, and we look forward to seeing you again soon.